Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here, pretty good here. So, planting day today in the garden. Um, I went through it with the little rototiller, took a long time. My arms are killing me, <laughs> and I'm sure later tonight and probably tomorrow there'll be a lot more things hurting too. So anyways, we're going to do some potatoes this year. We uh, kept a bag of Yukon Gold potatoes. for They're good for um, mashing, kind of like mashed potatoes stuff. Uh, we kept them for a while here, and they are starting to eye out. Sweet! So we're going to have to cut some of these, throw them into the hill, and uh, plant them in. Hopefully they'll grow. And uh, these we got the other night at a farm not too far from us here, and they're Anor Anorandak Blues. So... There's no real sprouts so much on them yet, but uh, hopefully they'll grow. So, we have to get a shovel. Um, I already kind of pre-started doing some uh, hills with the tiller. It's kind of hard, but it does do it. Um, but this ground over here is pretty wet right now, so it didn't fluff it up too well. So I'm going to have to take like where the center of the tiller went, where the wheels go, and push that up onto the hill when I get these things into the dirt. So there's a reason why they put um, taters, taters into a hill, mostly because it's easier for them to harvest. So their machine would skip down underneath that row and then fluff it all out and then up the thing and away she goes. Um, because you don't want it to kind of grow down into below grade, if you know what I mean. So, cause it makes it really hard to get it out then <laughs> without wrecking them. So anyways, we're gonna we're gonna plant these right now, and uh, I know she's got some other things uh, too, but I don't know if they'll get in today. We're just about chasing a big storm here, so she's gonna be raining, so I wanna kinda get these in. But anyways, we'll get a shovel, a tripod over there, and uh, we'll start planting, cutting and planting. What are you doing, finding treasures? Lots of them. All kinds of good, we found two forks. Yeah. Some pottery kind of, well, china stuff. Yeah. What else did you find? Um, Chunks of metal. Yeah, from the wood stove. Lots of rocks. Cool. Want to see how many rocks we found? And there's a little vein of rocks that run right down through kind of this way. A little bit there too. The rest of this side was nice. That side was nice. It's all rocks down through here. And a whole bunch of square nails. Square nails, yeah. There's a whole bunch of rocks that she's picked out of that one spot there. So it's like, holy crap. Well, actually, it's crappy enough here. I might even just bring up some topsoil if I got some spare and <laughs> I lay into there. Terrible stuff. But uh, anyways, you can kind of see where I tilled here. So this is where I tilled. And this is like between the two tills. And then, you know, where you're walking down, that'll be the till. So this is going to be my one hill. It's not very straight, but that's the way that this garden come out because of this tree here. Um, and this will be my other hill if I need it. So now what I'll do is get the get them in there and then we'll fluff this onto the top should be good and she's bone. she's not bone oh geez Actually. oh geez call the cops oh 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 it's a tooth oh, there were teeth in there. yeah yeah hit my hand with it <laughs> 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 so, ah. so, uh oh now you let the it's a horse tooth watch this ready <laughs> oh that's so nasty it's everywhere it's a horse tooth so they had horses here at one time, so. There's like, there's bits and I already threw one in there. You got gloves on? I touched it oh. with my bare fingers. My oh, goodness, it's not gonna kill you, it's already dead. Anyways, back to the action. <laughs> Maybe that's better action, I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna cut and play some potatoes. Let's get you started here. We'll start maybe about here. I just wanna check all the row and make sure it's all good here. Some of the rocks out. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So what we want to do here, and you guys have seen me eat potatoes many times before. So this sprouts here is where it's gonna fire up the new fella, right? So you want at least two of those per hole. Most times the uh, automated planters will cut it four times, and that just fires that in. They all seem to grow, so. This one only seems to have really those ones, so I'm just gonna stick this whole thing in, I think. Let me just put that on there like that. Down in the ground, and this one here, holy cow, it's about the same. There's maybe one there, but uh, that's, I got lots here, so. Put them about a foot apart or so. You don't want them too tight, but. This one, uh, 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 
same thing, I guess. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one's a little better. It's got some nice ones there and then a couple there. So what I'm going to do probably here is cut that there. Some of them may not grow, but who knows. But anyways, we're going to keep on going here. And uh, we'll see you at the other end. Look at the color of these blue things. Purple almost. Cut it open, it's like that. Nice. All right, I probably put these a bit too close together, but I've learned over the years that Sometimes closer is a little bit better. Um, that's the start of these purple things and Randac blues. Put out a better stake thereafter, but that's, she wanted some to plant uh, somewhere else too, so I kept a few for her. But now we gotta do some fluffing, we'll say. And uh, bury these guys in, and we should be good. I had one rotten in that bag and I fired it at her. She didn't like that too much. She, th she fired a worm at me. I didn't like that too much. But anyways, <laughs> all right, we get the we get the metal thing with the shovel thing. We go in here and uh, start fluffing.
Well, there we go. A couple of rows of taters. That's about all we need. And, uh, well, these are all Yukons until here. Uh, and then the Anirandock Blues, or I think purples, start there. So that's pretty awesome. Sweet. I guess we're picking rocks now. Fun. Yay, fun. Well, there we go. There's some potatoes in anyways. Uh, she wants to do some of these giant pumpkins, like the 25,000 pound pumpkins, 2,200 pound pumpkins, something like that. It's a big heavy one. She's got some monster seeds that she wants to try to put in and see if they'll grow in there. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if that's even the right ground for that stuff, but uh, we've got potatoes. I'm gonna try some corn. I've never, ever had luck with corn here. It's just been terrible. So the farmers must, must douse that with some kind of fertilizer to make it grow the way it does or they get some special kind of specially treated seed or something with something on it to make it grow real good because you know they must they must pour something to it because I've never had any luck with corn here and I don't generally fertilize it a whole bunch I might try it a bit this year with what I don't know yet but we'll find something um, what else you planting in there beans, beans. magical fruit tomatoes, tomatoes. Got some started, that's right. Um, squash, peppers. Squash and peppers. Trouble with all that stuff is you're gonna have it ready all at once. <laughs> Let's eat it all now and starve all winter. <laughs> that's the trouble with gardens. Everything comes pretty much all at once. So you could stagger your growth, but then if you run out of time, you run out of time. Especially in this country, it might be in friggin' snow tomorrow, who knows? But anyways, we'll have some more planting to come. I think we're getting real close to uh, dousing of rain here. So, anyways, the old two end still sitting as it was, was, as it was, as is was. Still got all the plugs out of it. I'm waiting for parts to come for this PTO, and I need to take this apart. The other night, I just gave the uh, housing just a little bit of heat on each side. See if that might free it up, but it must be seized up inside the drums and stuff. They do work, but they don't return. See that goes down and stays down, so that it doesn't return. So if you drop on that, you gotta get your foot under it and feel until it starts to not be dragging. And see there, it's not too bad there, but but the left side, which yes, I agree from the one comment there, these are terrible, terrible breaks because you don't really use this one. But see how that one springs back. You can't, uh, I like the, the eight ends where they put them on both sides and then clutch on the one side. So these were actually brakes, left and right, and then clutch on the other side. Different on this one, but anyways, it's the way they made them. So we gotta tear this whole thing apart one of these days here. I, like I say, we got rain loom in here, so. Um, but I have to take all these bolts out. And then this whole assembly should should split right in there, I think. Or somewhere there. You know, I'm not too sure. I guess this whole hub thing might come off. And that brake drum should come off. But I think... I think this plate is maybe part of... I don't know yet. We'll see, I guess, when we take it off. It kind of looks like it's all part of... This casting here. Maybe it does split there. I don't know probably painted together too so it's gonna be even more fun fighting that but to get into the brakes you gotta take this whole thing apart which is kind of stupid 
But uh, anyways, the way they made them. So anyways, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys are planting yourselves a garden too, a bit of something. We haven't done a garden for a few years, but she, uh, my wife wanted to try it again. So I thought, okay, you know, we can't grow nothing here, right? I said to her, <laughs> and she's like, oh, we'll grow something. Okay, well, you're not gonna grow anything here. I don't know what it is. I had potatoes good one year that we did them here. And I've done them for quite a few different years here and even skipped a couple of years, skipped a year next year. The frickin' bugs or whatever it was ate all the entire growth of the potatoes, the new potatoes out, it left nothing but the skins. I don't know what happened, but, and ever since then it's been cursed. So I don't know, I don't know, but we'll see what happens this year. Sort of technically different land. The other garden we had just behind our house here. So it's about 50 feet more that way. <laughs> but uh, anyways, catch you all later. Thanks again for watching and you guys have a good day. And the black flies are out.